Hey, it's Frank Salinas here with a quick update related to Groove Cart and updates and improvements, bug fixes that have been made in the month of June. So I'm just going to dive right in and show my screen on certain things and then other things just go over the list. Okay, so let me just share my screen and show you uh, what we've been working on, what's been improved. So you can be up to date with Groove Cart and what's been going on. So we had some improvements. We added back all 15 headers with the new header settings. So where do you find the headers? Well, if you go to the visual builder, you can go inside of here and you click on pages, you click on the home page, and then you'll see where it says click to edit header layout. And then you'll see the different headers here. In the coming weeks, we're gonna change the format and the way these are organized here to make it better for you as users. We changed the position for the menu and pages in the builder. That just means here, when you clicked here to go to page, it used to have pages over here and navigation on the left you swapped it out something very simple and then we removed some unused urls in the more link section in the dashboard if you go to the dashboard it's really you know it's something that's not going to affect your store or anything we had a section down here that had more links and we had uh quite a few urls that hadn't been uh been visited or adding value to the user so we removed those not that big of a deal here's the section that i want you to know if you encountered any of these issues submitting tickets to the support desk or anything this is where i'm letting you know things were fixed so that you can relax and go back and check it and verify and get back to building your store so the spin wheel app uh, in the dashboard was fixed there was a incident where the tabs were disappearing and the styling was broken that's been fixed so if you have the spin wheel on your site to build your email list that's been fixed um, they fixed a vulnerability inside the dashboard where people could disable stores without actually being the admin and things like that. So that's been fixed, thankfully. Uh, the social proof pop-up wasn't working on some stores. That's been fixed. On mobile, on your float cart, when you added an item and you wanted to delete it, there was an instance where instead of the little delete icon, there was a huge uh, icon instead with words so we fixed that changed it to where it's just the icon and now it's looking right on mobile we encourage you to always check your store on your phone as well to see what it looks like next we fixed an issue where when you added an image in the builder there was a, a tiny little space around it and so what that did if you wanted to add a border you would add the border and then you would see like a gap so that's been fixed so let me show you in the builder what i mean so let's just pick this image real quick i'm going to act like i'm going to add a border okay and I'm going to go to the style and we're just going to add a border real quick. And I want to show you the width of the border. Let's just make it three. What the bug fixed was when you did this, there was a little gap in between your image and the border. And some members wanted borders around the images, depending on what they were setting up. And they noticed that they let us know we fixed it. So it's only going to affect a small amount of people for those that like to have borders on images for whatever page you're working on. And then there was a section here for custom sizing. So if I wanted to custom size this image, I could go on settings and instead of original, I could go here and I could change the width, etc., like so, but I'm not gonna do that for this because I don't wanna mess up Groovezilla. So let me just remove that and now we're back and we didn't mess up our store. So those are a couple of bit fixes related to the images. I wanted to visually show you that. The next thing, Alley Connect was fixed. There was an instance on some stores. Uh, let me just show you. If you use Alley Connect, this is affecting you. There were some stores that it wasn't working. And what it was doing was instead of showing the actual top level domain, it was, it was actually showing the subdomain.groovecart.com, which was causing the app not to work. So if you're using Alley Connect and it wasn't able to work a while back, Go back, regenerate your credentials, and put the new credentials that you have here inside the app, and it should work for you to import products from AliExpress using the AliConnect app. There was also a bug fix related to the next order number settings. So if this pertained to you, that's been fixed. And this last bug that was fixed was um, here in the builder. If you wanted to turn off search and um, turn off the login and save it, it wasn't updating. So that now has been fixed. So when you do that inside of the headers, they will be updated. So if I want to turn them back on, they will go back. And then some optimization. We've improved the visual builder stability. Uh, and you can import, export a lot faster with the speed optimization in the builder. If you're updating and importing a new theme, you can do that a lot better now. And last but not least, they've improved the UI UX for documentation. 
and the section for vendor API. That's related to the GrooveCart API and webhook section. Uh, if you're not setting up apps or integrating anything extra, this, this won't apply to you. And that's under here in documentation in the vendor API. All right. So with that being said, thank you again for being part of GrooveCart and the Groove family. We'll see you on the next update. This is Frank Salinas. Talk to you soon.